I am the master of many forms of martial arts, including Wu Tai Chi, Praying Mantis Kung Fu, Choi Lai Fat, Western Boxing, and many other forms. No one can touch me. Don't get ahead of yourself. You haven't faced me yet. Oh, this. I'd rather face Chuck Norris again. Hey kids, here's your big review of the Owens vs Predators Hot Toy Samurai Predator 1 6 style collectible figure artist collection series. So here we got the packaging which is very unique. It's in this uh, really cool box that you open from the top as you can see the lid right there. Very cool artist design. It's like a water painting almost of the Samurai Predator with some I'm guessing alien Japanese symbols I'm guessing and it, it says right there Samurai Predator and there's the designers of it I probably would butcher the name so if you can pronounce it that's awesome both sides of the box says Samurai Predator right here in that very cool watercolor design the back of the box has the designers and all the people who made the figure which is very cool here uh, feel free to pause and read it if you need to but uh, it has the alien versus predator symbol also you can see some cool very markings of the samurai predator all along this box i think it's very awesome on the box has a little warning choking hazard thing because you could choke on how awesome this samurai predator is the top of the box has this really awesome aliens versus predator symbol right here and when you open the top of the box it actually reveals two different boxes that you can take out here one box contains the awesome alien base it says avp on there it has a nice window box showing the base here it says Samurai Predator. The back of that box has a really cool picture of the Samurai Predator, a Saiyan Samurai Predator, and it's very cool artwork. Well, the other box actually contains the Samurai Predator in its window box with all his accessories. It's a Samurai Predator. Well, the back of that box actually shows the Samurai Predator from a different point of view with his helmet saying Samurai Predator and the very awesome artwork. He's a super predator samurai. Let's open him up so we see in your eye. And here we got the Samurai Predator. Holy crap, this thing is freaking amazing. Let's take a closer look at this artist figure. Now, this guy is gorgeous. Holy crap. I know it's weird saying that about a predator, but wow. I mean, look at this, the detail on there. Paint apps on his helmet and his mask which I'll show more you can remove it but I sh I, obviously I like prefer the look with his helmet on I mean it is just amazing the sculpting on there his little uh, plasma shoulder cannon it's just so cool I love the style in here it definitely has a samurai look but also being very predator this character was never in Aliens vs Predator or Aliens vs Predator Requiem but God, I wish he was, because man, this is just so freaking cool. He has a little collection of katanas, as you can see here, which is very cool. It, um, like I might as well just show this real quick. Um, this is detachable, and these katanas, unfortunately, they don't open up, but he does have his own katana blades, which do open up. But you can see the detail in the handles. Very nice, and it has a little rope. Like all these different ones, I'm guessing from different samurais he's killed over the years, probably from ancient Japan and everything. But it does look at that hair, by the way. I love the um, dreads. Predator always have cool alien hair thing going on. The armor is just so freaking cool. But yeah, you just would slip this on here. You just slip it on here and it'll stay in place, which is very cool. I like the look of having multiple katanas, like his little trophies. He's carrying those back. Now, the armor is so freaking cool that, you know, like I said, this is, this is all an artist thing. Another cool thing right here, you can see here his, um, like, his little, um, blades right here. They do come out, which I do like right there. I love that look right there. So freaking cool. The design of this armor is just beautiful. Like, if I was a predator, I'd probably look like this, because this is so cool. I love samurais, and I love predators. Like, skin texture paint on on apps on like his chest and his arms he has some like scarring going on obviously he's been through battle i love this little net thing under here like you know predators always wear netting like the armor here it's every bit of detail in here just like wow i mean and then like all the different parts of the armor from here he has like this little cloth thing going on underneath it just so cool and he has like a little sheath for his own metal katana which i'll 
show here. This is so freaking amazing. Now, one thing that the coolest thing is, you can, the coolest part right here has to be his collection of, of alien inner jaws that he keeps as a little trophy thing, like a little good luck charm for his thing. He has attached right there. So cool, look at that. It's all inner jaws from aliens. And his foot armor right here from the back. Who, this thing is a little heavy. <laughs> but yeah, it's so freaking cool. His knee pads, paint abs. His feet. Oh, Sharp Miss Prime, you love them toes? Yeah, look at that. Big old toes. Oh, and look, he's even got toes on the side here. But yeah, look at that. So freaking amazing. Just like every bit of detail that's on here. Hot toy spared. No expense. This guy is amazing. For articulation, the Samurai Feather's head um, can fully rotate on this part of the neck as well as go up and down and also has a separate neck joint that can also rotate so he has quite a bit of head posability on here which is awesome. Uh, he has some jaw articulation which I'll show more once I remove the mask. Um, because of the armor it does limit the articulation a little bit but he does have the ability to rotate his arms fully as well as go in and out. This armor does move around a bit so it can go up that much on this arm. This arm can go a little bit more because it's not as hindered but that is common with you know samurais and it weren't the most articulated compared to ninjas but yeah that's the thing when you have that armor it can go forward and back it does bend at the elbow as well as rotate um, at the elbow right here it does uh, rotate uh, he does have full wrist articulation while it's go in and out of course I showed that these things can go in and out which is awesome um, he does have full waist articulation while well, it can rotate left and right and go forward and back a bit but because the armor does hinder it uh legs can go forward and back in and out quite a bit it's not hindered at all from this armor he does bend at the knee as well as rotate at the knee or and also he rotates the other part of the leg and his feet do rotate and have a little bit not really ankle pivot but they do pivot forward and back also his plasma cannon uh, can also fully rotate it does hit his helmet when you rotate this way and go all up and down on a nice ball joint samurai predator comes with uh, quite a bit of accessories he comes with an instruction manual how to put on the helmet and the swords and the plasma cannon and the uh, put together the base comes with a total of seven hands he comes with uh, two fisted hands that came inside the box right there. He comes with a couple to hold his different katanas and blades and he comes with some open hands which all have very uh, extremely nice detail on all of them as you can see here especially has the armor on the and nails. Also comes with some extra wrist pegs in case you break them which is always great. It comes with this blade that's made out of plastic and you can see it has this really gross almost boogery stuff but that's actually uh, green blood from the alien that he comes with which I'll show more in but very nice detail on the hilt of the blade and he comes with this long katana that is made out of die cast metal you can see the blade really long and shiny and also the hilt and of course it fits on his sheath right here which fits very nicely inside of there. Now he comes with his helmet removed and so yeah his helmet and mask are come with three different parts he comes with the top part this is held together with a magnet as you can see right there the magnets right here like I said this is very cool part. The way to put this on you kind of have to move, put it on from the side here so it is a little kind of jarring. So here you can see this is what it's like when the helmet's removed right here and then the final part is the mask which just simply goes over his mandibles. That face is just absolutely sinister and monstrous and I absolutely love it. One thing that's cool here he does have jaw articulation. His jaw opens just a little bit but you can see here the detail work this predator is just super killer looking. These are so freaking cool and I love the little the paint detail is just absolutely stunning. I really love it a lot. I mean just blown away by the amount of paint apps and everything. And what's so cool, they're changeable mandibles that give them an open mouth look. So all you have to do of course here, you just take them out here, the left and right one slip out easy, and then you just push in the Big, uh, oh, big open ones right here just simply push him in. There he has that angry I want to kiss you face. Oh gosh it looks so cool. Look at look at that detail right there. I mean just look at that. The best part of the Samurai Predator besides the figure itself is this amazing decapitated alien 
um, base. This thing is beautiful. It has the gushing blood coming out of it, like the actual like nails and like bits of them coming out of here. The space is this nice like plastic here and the alien here is just like wow it's just wicked. He came in a, uh, about like six different pieces the alien base or if you count the cradle and you had to put in each of the alien back pieces. Look at that detail right there it is just so wicked. I mean yeah like I said uh, what's so cool like look at the alien head you can go in there see the purple on here and the reds and the greens and you can see inside just like how the xenomorphs are so wicked i freaking love this thing and of course you can see it comes with a just a little cradle but you're wondering hey where's the alien head well here it is you can actually have him holding it from his uh you know to add his collection of alien inner jaws and everything but yeah this thing is so freaking cool it has the skull in there of course now this thing the controversy is, as you can see here, the alien is purple, but this head is more red and stuff, which I agree, um, it should be purple. I don't know why there's some issues with certain ones, like having a red head, I don't know. But it, it does have purple in it, and just more red looking like a dog alien going on, which I think this is a dog alien from what it looks like. Um, it does look freaking cool. One thing I can think of, which I don't mind, is that when you decapitate someone, their head, you know, be, like out over time, changes color, the skin and stuff. But yeah, oh, look at that thing. That's so freaking cool. It's like even a little bubbly. It's so gross and I love it. But yeah, I mean, it can kind of attach there if it wasn't stuck, the base hitting the bottom part. But like I said, yeah, it doesn't match as much as I like. But like I said, it, it looks so cool and the paint apps are still spectacular so i don't mind it it looks just freaking awesome you want to kiss and here you can see the samurai predator with the full diorama it just looks so freaking cool that alien couldn't stand a chance for my samurai you predators think you win <laughs> you guys can be taken out by the old dude from lethal weapon well don't you think that i'm headstrong <laughs> No, that was Bob. He had two days left till retirement. Ah, oh, you bastard. Size comparison time. So here you can see the Samurai Predator is in good skill with other Predators. He's like a 14 inch figure. He's the same size as the classic Predator from Predators. You can see how much taller than this than the Hot Toys DxO2 Batman. Now the Samurai Predator is a prime example of how Hot Toys can take an existing license and make something amazingly original from it. Now, I really, really wish that the Samurai Predator was in Aliens vs. Predator or Aliens vs. Predator Requiem. I would love to see this guy come to life in a movie. I hope in whatever the next Predator movie, they bring this guy because that would be amazing to have him in there. Um, like I said, even though this character was in a movie, if you love, have love for Predator and a uh, love for samurais this is like the best of both worlds this figure is gorgeous i love all the different like the bits of armor i love his different katanas like you know there's like his samurai helmet is amazing the alien head and base is freaking amazing like i said this thing is gorgeous now only bad thing is this guy from Sideshow Collectibles uh, com, which you can still get him, is 360 plus tax if you're in California. But you can get him at places like uh, you know Alter Ego Comics before it sold out. You know for about like 325, 330, like at other places like even BBTS. But you know which uh, has them in stock. But like I said if you're a bit, with Predator figures going for around 200, and this being a original figure based on an existing license. I can see why this thing is big, the base is big, and the licensing fee, I can understand this. This thing is like a gorgeous statue once you have it up in place. So, like I said, if you're a big Predator fan and you want to have a collection of Predators and you love Samurais, get this. Otherwise, obviously get, you know, Classic Predator or anyone's. But I said, this thing is gorgeous. I love it and I highly recommend it. For more geek news, reviews, and more, check out BKBN.net. I'm Sean Long, Mary Celebrate Your Name in a big way. Where does he get those wonderful toys? <laughs> <laughs>
Excuse me. He was saying he gets them at alteregocomics.com. <laughs> For the latest in hot toys, sideshow collectibles, replicas, and more, visit alteregocomics.com. They take PayPal, pre-ordered, and they lowest prices on the net. Lowest price for hot toys? You must be joking. Do I look like I'm joking? Gonna be KB and not that! Gonna be KB and not that! Gonna be KB and not that! I tell you go! Go down! Hey Bob, look what I got for dinner! <sighs> alien heads again? Can we just order a pizza? Ooh, alien head pizza? Never mind.